as a content creator, Back at GDC 2019, one of the things that definitely got my attention uh, when Google stood up on stage and talked about all of the cool things that Stadia was going to do was StateShare. If you don't know what StateShare is, uh, basically, it's like when you would take your PlayStation uh, memory card and give that to a friend so that they could play your save. Only you can now share it instantly on a game by game basis and not just a game by game basis, but like a little snapshot of the game. You can you can basically take a snapshot of the game and share it with a friend and say, hey, why don't you try this out? Now, as a content creator, I saw that and I said, that is a really, really cool way to interact with my audience. For instance, you know, you all who are watching this could say, here's my uh, state share of this particular game. And, uh, you know, why don't you see how you could do it? I could record me playing those state shares and then post it as a video. I think that that sounds really fun. And we, we actually already have state share, uh, with a big old quotes of beta around it on Stadia. This came with Krata. When Krata first came out, state share beta came out and it didn't really feel like state share. It felt like this was an easy way to invite people into my game. Of course, it was beta, so that's fine. Uh, uh, we used it. I was playing, a, I was doing a live stream of Krata. I created a state share link. I put it in chat so people could join. We had a whole bunch of people join up and we all like built this cool house together. And, you know, somebody even uh, put a bunch of uh, lights and spelled nerd nest on the wall of the uh, of the house. It was really fun, um, but that's not really what I had in mind when I heard about state share. Because honestly, that really just feels like an easy way to invite people into your into your game. State share seems like it should be more. Well, GameSpot was interviewing people from Stadia and Hitman, and they were talking about how Hitman Three, which comes out. I believe on the 20th of January, if I'm wrong about that, I'll put a little thing right there. Um, I believe it comes out on January 20th and it's going to have state share built in no longer in beta. And I'm very, very excited about this. We've got a couple of screenshots for how it looks. So let me show you those screenshots. The first screenshot uh, basically says play this custom game state. This game state is playable slice of the game that's based on the original player's own gameplay conditions. Game states work differently in each game. For example, a game state might take you to the beginning of a level with the original player's customized character and inventory. Other states might start a new game with their world map or teleport you to uh, right to a specific moment. Playing won't affect the original player's game. Come back to this page to play the game state as often as you want and create your own game state by saving a capture while you play. This is incredibly cool. I love the idea that uh, it's just kind of attached to our screenshots. It's attached to the little 30 second clips that we do. And that's that's how it's done. All right, let's take a look at the second screenshot, which shows us how it actually works. The second screenshot basically says, Press F12 or the capture button on the Stadia controller or touch gamepad. Uh, hold down the same key or button to save the previous 30 seconds. Captures with this icon have a game state, a playable slice of the game based on your unique gameplay conditions and progress. I think that this is really, really cool. I thought that they, you know, I in, in Krata, there were like a bunch of steps that I had to go through in order to generate that link to share with everybody. With this, all I have to do is hit a button on my controller or F12 on my keyboard, and it generates a screenshot or video. And also, if the game supports it, and if I'm in the right spot, it's also going to generate a save state. Now, if you look at that screenshot, second screenshot again, it shows a screenshot from Hitman and it doesn't have that icon. I'm assuming that's because it's in the middle of a video or something. And so they're showing, look, you can take a screenshot, but it's not always going to generate a save state. And it will only generate a save state if you've done it the right way. 
which I think is really awesome. So like they said in the in the uh, screenshots, different games will do this differently. How is Hitman doing it? Well, there's a couple of quotes in here that, should, that say how it's doing it, and it's got me very excited for Hitman 3. Let's start with the first quote. It says, in Hitman, that means that players can share their particular missions with their difficulty settings, starting location, disguises, objectives, equipment, and loadout, and smuggled gear. State share places players at the beginning of the mission you just ran with the same setup you used. They go on to say, sharing a game state from the end of a mission includes your rank on the Hitman leaderboard, so anyone playing a state share can see how they rank against you. It also includes a new celebration tag in Hitman 3 that gives you a rank based on how well you fared. These tags include amateur, that's going to be me by the way, professional, silent assassin, and professional ICA shadow assassin, providing another way to compare yourself to anyone you share your game state with. I think that this is really awesome. And you know what else I really hope? I hope that if you go to the leaderboard and if you're listening IOI Interactive, you definitely want to do this. If I go to the Hitman leaderboard, I would love to be able to look at a player on the leaderboard and say, show me their save states so that I can try them. I think that that would be awesome to do. Uh, anyway, so overall, what do you guys think about save states? Uh, I'm sorry, about state share in on Stadia. Are you excited for it? Are you um, looking forward to doing it with Hitman or are you waiting for it to be in some other game? Let me know in the comment section down below. I, for one, am way more excited about Hitman 3 than I was before after reading this article.